Oh, hello, Lavender. Is it that time again already? Time for me to devour you in all that beauty, in all that heavenly fragrance. The bees, the bumblebees, the creatures great and small, they've all had their share. In fact, I've left an entire patch for them. But this patch, this patch of lavender is mine. I tried to get out to the garden in time to beat the bees to this patch, but alas, I didn't quite make it. Luckily, they're so busy with the blossoms that they don't seem to pay too much attention to my harvest. And what a flower harvest it is. Oh, Lavender, how I love thee. Flowers may be a universal language, but English certainly isn't, and that's why over 10 million people have turned to Babbel, the number one language learning app in the world to help them learn a new language. I'd like to thank them for sponsoring today's video. As we prepare for the homeschooling year ahead, Babbel is part of our curriculum. I want my children to learn to speak Spanish, which is relevant and helpful for them with the people that they interact with. Babbel uses real people, language experts to teach real life dialogue, such as mucho gusto or aprendo espanol. And I love the way that this challenges our kids and grows their mind in an appreciation for a new language. Whether this is through the app, podcasts, games, or their live classes, there's a ton of variety and ways for us to learn through Babbel. So here's what I want you to do. Click the link right below the video and get up to 65% off of Babbel. Get connected to the people around you and dive into a new language today. Once a year, I carry baskets and armfuls of lavender blooms into the kitchen. What will we make this year, I wonder? This flower, this simple flower, is such a blessing to our house. Its color, its shape, its fragrance. Garden goodness that will last long after the flower heads have dried. In fact, I keep lavender inside year-round in a variety of ways, only tossing it out the following year when the dried lavender is nice and dusty and the next harvest is at hand. This year, I thought it'd be fun to make a lavender wreath for the living room door. It's certainly not a complicated craft, just an old grapevine wreath that I've had laying around the greenhouse forever, a handful of pipe cleaners to bundle the lavender together. Quite simple, really. There are projects at the cottage, like this lavender wreath for example, that are done simply for the beauty of it. Is it practical to have a fragile dried wreath of lavender around the house with four small children? Maybe not. Could I buy a wreath like this for less effort? Most definitely, but that's completely missing the point, isn't it? The point is to have invested in the garden, to have grown this lavender from starts years and years ago, to have tended and weeded the soil, to have pruned and protected the bushes, to have fed the bees and the other insects with the pollen, and ultimately to have harvested and focused on something beautiful in the garden and then in the home. Life isn't all about practicality after all, and if it is, I think we're missing the magic. And of all the flowers in the garden, lavender certainly has a lot of magic.
historically, lavender is said to represent calmness, devotion, goodwill, femininity, elegance, understanding, grace, purity, and peace. And while there's debate as to whether the lavender name is derived from the Latin word meaning to wash or the Latin word meaning bluish, well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Lavender will always have a place in the garden. And this week, we're celebrating the lavender harvest not only with our large lavender wreath, which turned out quite beautifully, I might add, and it'll dry wonderfully right there in place, but I'm also drying some bundles in the kitchen for winter tea and other culinary uses like homemade herbs de Provence, homemade flower pepper. simply hang these bundles from a curtain rod where they can dry in place until I need them. I also like to fill baskets with lavender and keep them around the house, up high and out of reach of little hands that just simply can't resist them. But here they sit, quietly, throughout the year, lending their gentle scents and happy texture to any room. I think dried flowers, particularly dried lavender, have a way of adding a comfortableness to a space, saying, you can relax here. clean up and then it's on to make something wonderfully floral and delicious. (laughs) 
some of the lavender will be enjoyed fresh, just as it is to celebrate this bountiful harvest. And this time I'm gonna be doing that with these little butter cookies sweetened with maple sugar and pressed into lavender. I'll make sure to put the recipe below in the video description if you'd like to make some for yourself. Once again, here I am reminding you and frankly reminding myself that there is so much beauty when we have the eyes to see it. Whether it's a lavender harvest, something much smaller, or even something much bigger, it's still something to celebrate and to give thanks for. Mm -hmm. 